Hey, I'm Fuji, and welcome to Tiny Kitchen Big Taste. We are pioneering new ground in the TK with a month-long series, Tiny Kitchen Recipe Remixes. Just like a singer would cover a great song, we are covering some of the greatest recipes of all time, beginning with Ree Drummond's Perfect Pot Roast. Now, many of you know Ree as the pioneer woman, and she has some of the most flavorful, best-tasting recipes out there. I'm excited. I know you're excited. Y'all ready? Then bring it. What you're gonna need is a chuck roast, beef broth, salt and pepper, olive oil, carrots, an onion, rosemary, and thyme. You'll also need a Dutch oven, tongs, a large spoon, and a sharp knife. A good friend of mine is always making some really good food, and every time I ask her for the recipe, she says, oh, that's Ree Drummond's recipe. So it was no surprise when I was looking for the perfect pot roast that Ree's recipe kept popping up. And this one is great for the tiny kitchen because it is super duper simple. We begin by cutting our onion in half. We'll take off the ends of the onion, and then we will peel back the outer skin. Next, we're gonna roughly chop our carrots. Now, this is a rustic dish, so it does not have to be perfect. You don't even need to peel the carrots. We'll just take off the ends. And then I like to cut them at an angle, probably about two inch slices. So next, we're gonna season our chuck roast with a little bit of salt. I say a little bit, it's actually a lot of salt and pepper. You're gonna use a little bit more than you might think because this is a really thick piece of meat and you wanna season it so you don't get bland meat. We'll hit it on both sides. Then we'll take everything to the stove. Now I've got a Dutch oven over medium high heat. We'll add some olive oil, throw in our onions, cut side down, and we're just gonna crisp those up, give them a nice brown coating to the outside. And this is the point that it starts smelling good. Just that simple, just that quickly. That's the brown coloring we're looking for. We will scoop these out, throw in our carrots. At this point, the carrots have the perfect coloring, so we will scoop them out. And next, in goes the meat. Ooh, listen to that sear. We'll give the meat a flip. After we've seared it for about a minute on each side, I will remove the chuck roast. Then we're gonna hit the pan with about a half a cup of the beef broth. This will help to deglaze the pan. We throw the roast back in, cover them up with all the vegetables. Finish it off with the rest of the beef broth. Now you want the beef broth to go up about halfway on the meat. Finish it off with a couple of sprigs of thyme and a fresh rosemary. Really very simple. We just cover it up and then we're gonna pop it into a 275 degree oven for just about three hours or until the meat is really tender. So check this out, three hours in the oven and the meat is just fall apart amazing. The levels of flavor on this dish, I, it just can't compare from the thyme and rosemary and onions. It is fantastic. I know you're gonna want the recipe for it and it's available on our website. You can also check us out at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And when you try this, please let us know about it in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Fucci reminding you that if I can make Reed Drummond's perfect pot roast in a kitchen this tiny, you can make it in yours. We'll see you next time on Tiny Kitchen, Big Taste. Perfect pot roast, Reed's recipe kept popping up. And this one is super great for the tiny kitchen because, oh my, super great, super great. Oh, it's super great.